I am I. The temple is I. Though it is not safe for even I. The beast does kill my form repeatedly. You have slain it, but for a small time. It comes again and again. My legion of followers feed the creature. That's kind of what we were thinking before. Yeah, I think Lily will uh, disclose that he really has no more followers. Well... It's actually not true. They do follow. They're, they're guarding here, even though they're <laughs> doing so unwittingly. More about loathing. They must serve. It's the letter of the agreement. They were to guard and I would provide for their lives. This was to be for all time. Yeah. Just gonna let him know that uh, they don't even remember his name. It is their loathing and pathos, and has become their object of worship. Even the great device has waned in power. I was wondering what that great device might be. And it is not so epic a danger as once I thought. Here's Viconia interjecting. A pathetic existence for a god indeed. Not forgotten enough to finally die. Perhaps one day such a fate will await dark loth. One can only hope. I weep for my children. Their hate sustains this place. Though they would intend otherwise. Had they not thought of me at all, I would have perished, and soon after so would they. Well, aren't right, asking if, uh, that's what he's really calling for, I guess, the death of uh, all his followers. I <laughs> should be happy to carry that out. The letter of the bargain was that I protect the great device until the end of time. The creator racers were very specific. I will reinterpret the words for it is surely the end of my time. The intent of the bargain was that the great device would not be used again, if it is indeed the end of time, as he's interpreting it now, that my last act should be to destroy it. I have not the power to do so. Lily doesn't want it destroyed, she wants it for herself. Yeah, it's needed. Hoping to strike a bargain here with, uh, this dying god. Yes! I see in your mind the way to release this place. You seek the great device for another, though you owe them no allegiance, and they intend to kill you. I don't think she's surprised to hear that if he's referencing the cult of the Unseen Eye, <laughs> but I think she's concerned if he sees something that she doesn't with the uh, the three men in the sanctuary in the tomb. <laughs> if they're uh, going to betray her as well, that would be unexpected. Something she's going to keep in mind then. The cause is simple. You will take the great device, the piece that I possess. And ye shall combine it with the piece the creature already has. Alright, he's been referencing the Unseen Eye then. The assembled rod would surely destroy the beast. 
You must use the item upon the beast, and then return it to me. Use it but once, or you will perish under its power. Tell my people that you carry the piece that I give you, that you might deplete it, that you go to restore its components so that it may be disposed of as a whole, not in part. My people must know I intend to destroy it when you return, but more. They must know I intend to end their service. This simple act of bringing together the two parts of the rod will instill a small amount of faith for an instant. If they are in my presence, such an instant will allow me to destroy the artifact. All right, well, I think uh, Lily will agree to take the device as he's recommending to destroy the creature, meaning the Unseen Eye, possibly, but at least it will be in her possession, <laughs> and she can examine it uh, outside of this lower um, area that we're in now. Whether she would actually come back with it or even use it to destroy the Unseen Eye, she's not sure yet. But at least it sounds like it would be put into her hands. This uh, first part of the rod. So just asking them what she would get in return. The destruction of a beast that is using you. You stand little chance against the thing without the great device. Use the item once with my blessing to ward you against harm. Return as though at my bidding, and you will free my people. Yeah, Lily is not going to promise anything. <laughs> the device will profit you only so long as you use it as directed. You could study it for years, but you would be as likely to get yourself killed as not. In time, another creature such as myself will realize the danger. You will gain only if you do as you should. Or right, giving Lily the device. And telling her to speak with, uh, I guess, his people. Surprised, uh, he actually gave it to her then. Yeah, so all these conditions, but she hasn't promised anything. Alright, but it sounds like uh, if sh she wanted to free the people, <laughs> I guess from this purgatory she could come back and uh, have the device destroyed. I doubt she'd want to do that, though. sense of holiness about the altar. Ah. Let's actually make sure we uh, even have this rod or part of a rod. Rift device part. The first part. Highly coveted by the unseen eye. Alright, at least we have it. This is curious, though. <laughs> this uh, urn on the altar. I am yours to direct, my friend. Please, let me help. What? Crazy. I'm ready for anything. 
think she's going to have Nalia, see what uh, might be in that urn. And I think if it anchors this <laughs> avatar, then uh, we'll try to quickly make a mis an escape. Alright, some gems and scrolls. Apparently, he has, takes no issue with that, I guess, uh... Duty calls, I see. Maybe that makes sense. If there were offerings left for a god... Yes? Alright, sounds like he's about to... ...say a rehearsed speech, or one that he says often... ...but trailing off here... You have the great device. What are you doing with that? <laughs> it cannot be moved. It has not been moved in a millennia. Well, I think in order for us to at least leave, uh, I'm just going to say what I think that dying god asked her to, which was, uh, yeah, taking it from this place to weaken it. I do not believe you. Nothing has changed here in ages. If you have the great device, it is only because our god is weaker than we imagined. Alright, line. <laughs> Nothing changes here. You will not return. We will not be freed. There is nothing to lend our faith to but hate and loathing. Go. It is the last we will see of you. <laughs> He's probably right. Yes. All right, this is a, probably a good place, maybe to uh, to pause it, actually. But uh, yeah, I guess next time we'll be returning then with the first part of the rod and uh, finding out then. I think it was Sashar, was going to give us guidance on how to steal the second part from the Beholder, the Unseen Eye. So that uh, Lily's really hoping she can assemble this for herself. But uh, if you've been watching, thanks, and uh, later.